I'm Quinnell. Hello, I'm Steve. I'm Anthony, and this is our chemical systems about ocean acidification. Chemical system one. This system includes a 200 milliliter beaker, straw, tap water, universal pH indicator, and a heat plate. The purpose of the system is to show the natural carbon cycle between the Earth's atmosphere and its oceans. The pH is to show proof that carbon is going in and out of the water. Since the water turned green, we know that it is a neutral substance. However, when carbon is added, we can see that the water becomes more acidic due to the color change. To show the carbon moving from the Earth's oceans to its atmosphere, we put a beaker on the hot plate. This represents the ocean heating up as the day gets hotter. Also, heat releases gas whenever it is held in the liquid. As you can see, the liquid has a slightly different color than from the preheated solution. Now, for chemical system number two. This system includes two test tubes, two test tube stoppers, and universal pH indicator, and about 50 milliliters of tap in seltzer water. The purpose of the system is to show how calcium hydroxide reacts when CO2 is in water, how lime water is created, and how this all affects shell animals and corals in the Earth's oceans. As we add the calcium hydroxide to create lime water, the process of creating calcium carbonate ions begins. From looking at the bottom of the test tube, we can see that there is more buildup in the seltzer water. This is because the calcium hydroxide is able to react with CO2 in the seltzer water and create calcium carbonate. In the other test tube, there is no calcium carbonate created since there is no carbon present in either the water or the calcium hydroxide. The powder just ends up sinking to the bottom. This process of lime water transforming into calcium carbonate affects the ecosystem because coral and sand animals use calcium carbonate as one of the building blocks of their outer structures. Since the shell animals will have to spend more of their time building their shell than looking for food, they will not be able to grow to full size, which in return will lead to smaller shell animals and lead to a smaller number of them.